Hello, and today I'm teaching you about matter. Now, the first thing you should know when talking about matter is the particle model of matter, also known as PMOM. Now, the four points of the particle model of matter are all matter is made up of tiny particles. The particles are always moving. Adding heat makes the particles move faster, and there's space between the particles. Now, matter has three states. There are solids, there are liquids, and there are gases. The particles in solids are close together. The solid has definite volume. And the particles are moving the slowest when in a solid. Now, when you move over to a liquid, the particles aren't as close as a solid. They're loosely attached. A liquid does have a definite volume. And the particles are moving a little bit faster. Now, when you go to a gas, the particles aren't attached to each other at all. A gas has no definite volume. And the particles are moving the fastest in a gas. Now, you can change states of matter by adding or taking away energy. So, if, let's use the example of water. When you add energy, you're adding heat to water. And it turns to a gas or water vapor. So, going back to the particle model of matter, adding heat makes the particles move faster. Now, if you look at a liquid, the particles are moving a little bit faster. But if you add more heat, they're moving the fastest. And, therefore, a liquid, if you add heat, it turns into a gas. Now, if you do the complete opposite and take energy away from a liquid, it'll turn into a solid. Being, if you cool down water, it's going to turn into ice. Now, if you do the opposite of adding heat to liquid, heat to the water, you're cooling it down. So you're taking away heat. And the less heat you have, the slower the particles are moving. So, if you take away heat, or if you take away energy from the liquid or the water, you, get, you will get a solid or you'll get ice. And the particles are moving the slowest. Now, when you go from a solid to a liquid, this is called melting. When you go from a liquid to a gas, this is called evaporation. Now, you can go from a gas to a liquid, and that would be called condensation. Or you could go from a liquid to a solid, and that would be called freezing. Now, sometimes you can completely skip the liquid stage. So you could go from a solid to a gas, or a gas to a solid. If you go from a solid to a gas, this is called sublimation. Or if you do the complete opposite, this is called deposition, when a gas goes straight to a solid. Now when you do this, you're either adding or taking away energy, or heat, from the solid or gas so fast that it completely skips the liquid stage. For example, going from a gas to a solid is frost on a windshield. So the water vapor in the air is being cooled down so quickly by your windshield that it just completely skips the w water stage and it goes straight to frost or 